All right, first pie guy here. Uh, you're looking at the atomic pie, and uh, I want to talk about the power switch, which there isn't one on here. And when you uh, plug it in, it fires right up. So as you can see, I have it uh, powered on right now. See by the lights there on the Ethernet jack. Because if you just plug this in, there's really no indication that it's powered on, you know, and uh, there's no LED light or whatnot. So, and it kind of stinks that this powers on like right off the bat. But if you look right here, you will see it says power and there's two little very small uh, holes here and it's uh, CN3 Charlie Dancy 3 on the board itself so if you take your meter <clears throat> and meter across these pins and so we're just going to do it and DC voltage as you can see we're at 3.3 uh, volts so the nice thing that we can do is take a momentary switch because you don't want to use a regular on and off switch you just want to use a momentary switch to just enough to make contact let go so if we solder two wires to this we can uh, hook up a momentary switch to power this on and to power it off because if we take just a normal jumper wire here and we jumper the power here I don't know why my, oh, my meter pins are touching together on my meter we can power this off as you can see there's no lights on it and if we short this out again <clears throat> I might have, might have got contact there might not have. that might have done it as you can see now it's coming back on so that'll work out nice to uh, solder two small wires here and uh, hook up a momentary switch to the CN3 uh, connection here on the board to power this on and to power it off without having to unplug the main power or unplug it from the receptacle so that works out pretty nice so thought I would share that a little bit but uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another one